I don't know that I, as a coaching staff, I don't know that we worked any harder than, than we did this season. And uh, it, I learned probably more this season than, than I've ever learned about myself, about human nature, about having fun. And uh, we hit a time in our season where uh, I told the kids I wasn't having much fun. And as a, as a coach, you push, 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 and uh, you stop remembering that you're pouring into kids' lives something. They're going to be, uh, you're, you're building them in some way. What way are you building them? What are you putting into them? And uh, one of the things that we as coaches relate this to is uh, it's like a bank account. You know, if you're going to ever make some withdrawals, you've got to make some deposits. And so it's very difficult for a young man uh, when a coach makes a, tries to make a withdrawal from him. In other words, he gets after him pretty good. And that coach hasn't made any deposits in his life. Hasn't encouraged him. Hadn't loved him up. Hadn't built him up. And uh, our coaching staff did a great job at that. I didn't. And uh, after the Wiley game, I uh, about as low as I've ever been as a coach. And uh, I said publicly, Derek, I told you, uh, I was acting like a big old baby. I was. I was being selfish. I was embarrassed. And uh, I took it out on the kids, and, and I told them uh, that I was so sorry for that. And I hope that they learned uh, a lesson from me, and that is how not to handle defeat. And so I just made up my mind, you know what? I told them, guys, I'm not having any fun. And if I'm not having any fun, I know you're not having any fun. And so we're going to stop talking all the time about things that we can't do, and we're going to start talking about and accentuating things that we can do. And from that moment on, I think our season changed. And I know I started having fun. And I started putting my arm around these guys. And of course, these coaches do it all the time anyway, but, but I had been neglecting that part of my job, I'm embarrassed to say. And uh, I started seeing these kids in a whole different light. And I started seeing things in them that I, had, that I didn't look for before. And I can tell you that I grew as a man an incredible amount. And I learned to come and appreciate these kids and what they were doing and uh, they were playing as hard as they could. But I don't know that you can play quite as hard as you really can if you're not having fun and not enjoying it. And I tell you what, I just started having fun. I mean, every practice was fun. Every game was fun. And I really think the guys started having fun. And uh, when I stopped dogging them all the time and started loving them all the time, uh, the whole season changed, and, and that's a tribute to them for showing me the reality of what it means to be a real football coach. And uh, I appreciate you guys, and I'll never forget you for that. And I love you, and I'm thankful that you put up with me uh, through half of the season when I wasn't much fun to be around. But uh, what a season it turned out to be. Oh, so close. So close from reaching a goal and dreams that nobody ever thought we could do. And... Uh, I'm just so thankful for having the privilege to coach you. As Dallas said, injuries and luck certainly didn't go our way this year. But it was a season that I'll never forget. And I appreciate you guys so much.